Welcome to Sony Lessons for tonight. I'm your director and actor, or leading actor, Tim Grinner. Hello, how are you? All right. And this is my co-star, Abby. Hey, puppy girl. Pretty girl, aren't you? All right. There's no treat for you. Maybe afterwards, I'll give you a treat. All right. She's here to keep you company. All right. Tonight's lesson is on the non-Newtonian fluids. Now, Newtonian fluid is a fluid whose viscosity is a variable based on applied stress. The most commonly, quit scratching in there. The most commonly known non-Newtonian fluid is cornstarch. Voila, argo. Dissolved in water. Agua. H2O. Some high quality H2O. All right. Now, non-Newtonian fluid. What do you mean? What is it? What does it mean when its viscosity is variable based on applied stress? Say, if you shoot a cup full, that's a cup, right there, of non newtonian fluid with, say, an airsoft pistol, say, 6RP226, which has a muzzle velocity of 307 feet per second, I guess we'll figure out the kilojoules of that, or not the kilojoules, the, uh, the joules, how much power forces involved in a little pellet, a little plastic pellet with that. It's a one point no, it's a point one two gram, I believe. And uh the stress induced by the incoming forces causes the atoms in the fluid to rearrange in the, such a such a way that it behaves like a solid. Note, finger. Or rather liquid, right? Let's see. Pours like a liquid, sorta. A little thick, really thick, jeez. Actually, that right there is a way to show it's applying force. Just moving it from the from the uh, cup made it really thick. I made a really good batch, I guess. All right. And uh, if you slowly slide something into the fluid, it'll come. It'll go in really easy. And come out really easy, sort of. I had to add a little water to this. It's a really thick batch. Wow. I did a little too much on that, I guess. A little bit of water there. And it don't want to leave my finger alone. All right. Let's stir that up a little bit more. Yeah, I'm poking a liquid with a fork. That's pretty bad. Or fluid, I guess. Let's get a little more water. Oh, see how that just goes right in? Goes right out, goes right in, goes right out. Alrighty then. Let's see if we can pour some of that back in there. Yeah. That's a slime. Goes right back. Come on. Hurry up. Then I got all night. Gotta work tomorrow. Come on, hurry. Alrighty then. Let me get a really full jug or cup. I do not like that clock. Okay. Now let's do the pistol experiment. Pistol. I right, have to set the phone down. I don't think the gun is cocked. Let's see. The gun is now cocked. All right. Fluid. Pistol. Little pellet, 307 feet per second. Watch how fast it goes. Now it went all over the place, all over my shirt, and the counter, and the wall, and actually some on my face. Cool. All right. Now what that did, you saw how the bullet impacted it, but it didn't quite go into like a liquid would, like it would a liquid. That's because the force caused it to harden up like a solid. And the solid took the impact of that bullet, or pellet, I guess. Let's do that experiment again. Free cocked the gun. Let's shoot at it from a little different angle. Now, it had to have caught that pretty well, huh? It hit that fluid, and you could see where it impacted. It had a little crater for just a second. When would water have a crater like that? Water will ripple or splash. That was a crater. That was a solid. So 
So this is actually a experiment being done by the military. Not quite this way, not with cornstarch and water. But what they're hoping to do is make a body armor. A body armor, armor out of a non-Newtonian fluid. Why would that work? Well, on, on a body armor, probably like a gel suit, something like that, these soldiers, marines, you know, jarheads, um, anything like that, would be able to move like they were in a liquid. Uh, like a bodysuit of liquid. Allowing them to move freely, un unhindered, unencumbered, and stealthily throughout the battlefield. But, on, you know, being shot at, jihad, um, by like such a bullet or something like that, the impact of the bullet hitting that body armor, that non Newtonian fluid, would probably behave the same way as this, taking most of the impact and distributing in, in the solid would take the impact and leave the soldier unharmed. Maybe a bruise at most. Hopefully, at most. So, how, why, why would that be easier? Well, with it moving easy, they also wouldn't have to spend that much money on the heavy plates of metal or ceramic that a lot of modern body armors use. A lot of current body armors. So, that could save a lot of lives. I also wonder how it would work with car safety. That would be an aspect that it could possibly use. But fluid can get heavy, so that might not ever be usable. Okay. But also, let's go and show how these BBs come out. Going real easy. Comes out really easy. Oh, except for that bottom part wouldn't stick. So let's let that little pellet go out. There it goes. Now let's go for this one like we're, you know, crazy. That spoon is hitting a solid. It ripples and stirs like a liquid, but hitting it like a solid. So let's go in there and scoop that pellet out. Pour off some of the excess. This stuff is messy. All right then, goes in real easy there. Now, what did I put my die? Oh heck, I lost my die. Red food die. Where'd you go? There it is. Okay. Now, food jelly. Oops, a couple of came out off a lot easier this time. This is the second time I've done this. I actually deleted the first video. Yippee. Get away from the hood. It's not for you. Alright, now let's watch this. Really old food coloring. Red. Liquid in liquid. Disperse is real easy. Ooh, a lot there. Oops. Looks kind of like blood. Alright, now liquid on non Newtonian fluid. Fluid on fluid, in theory. Yes. That drop hit a solid. But as we've seen before, now it's liquid. And I well, effectively buried it in the solid. Let's start making it come out. There we go. Oh, well, sort of. There we go. The spoon is nowhere near the edges of the cup. Yet it's moving the whole thing. Pretty amazing, huh? Alrighty then. That's the end of our lesson for the night. Did you feel well? Or rather, until I get the next experiment started.